In today's video, we will be discussing what a sanctuary is, what a stage is, what an altar is, what a congregation is, and how it is represented in the church. So stay tuned. My name is Zeke Matthew, and Anime C is for you who like original movies and series, as well as clean anime and manga reviews. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Now, I'm not saying that all churches are like this, or all pastors are like this. I'm just trying to get rid of the mindset that we created the American church to be. Now, when you walk in a church, you see a big hallway of stuff, and basically that is just where people gather and talk. In the back is another large room, which you call a sanctuary. Now, a sanctuary is made of two doors or one door, depends on your church. A definition of a sanctuary is the most sacred part of a religious building, such as the part of a Christian church in which the altar is placed, the room in which general worship services are held, a place such as a church or temple for worship. So when you walk in a sanctuary, you will notice on each side are chairs or pews depending on the church. In front of you is a stage in which the pastor and worship team is stood upon. And most of the churches claim that this is a congregation. So the definition of a congregation is an assembly of persons gathering, especially an assembly of persons met for worship and religious instruction. In the church, there are three walkways, and between those walkways are something called pews. The definition of a pew is a compartment in the auditorium of a church providing seats for several persons, or one of the benches with backs and sometimes doors fixed in rows in a church. So in the church, it's either one long bench where everyone sits during the service, or you have have chairs, individual chairs, that is set up like cues in the service where you sit. At specific times within the church, you go into the sanctuary and sit down, and a show is about to start, and we call this show a church service. The definition of a service is a form followed in worship or in religious ceremony, the burial service, or a meeting for worship often used in plural, held evening services. So basically each service is at a specific time, like 9 a.m. on Sunday, 11 a.m. on Sunday, or 7 p.m. on Wednesday. And if you would like to learn more about the seven things about the church, click the video card above where I explain the seven different things of the church and how it operates. In the front of the church is a stage, and this is where pastors and worship teams are stood upon to help during the show. A definition of a stage is a raised platform, the part of a theater on which the acting takes place and which often includes the wings, the acting profession, the theater as an occupation or activity. So when the worship team is singing songs or the pastor is speaking, he is actually performing on that stage to you. At the end of each service within a church, there is something called an altar call. An altar call is just if people want to get saved, or if they want to come for praying or healing in their bodies, ministers will be there to help you. Let's look at the definition of what an altar is. So the definition of an altar is a usually raised structure or place on which sacrifices are offered or incense is burned in 
worship often used figuratively to describe a thing given great or undue credence or value, especially at the cost of something else, sacrificed his family life on the altar of a career advancement. So an altar call is when someone goes to make a confession to the deity within the church to be prayed for healing or for other things, both physically or figuratively. That is basically what an altar call is, and it normally lasts about 15 minutes at the end of each service. So I hope this gives clarity of what each thing means, what a pew means, what an altar means, what a service means, so that when you go into church, you're not confused on what's going on. And in the next video, we will be discussing a translation for you. I'm Zeke Matthew, and never forget, Anime Seat is for you.